so welcome thank you for joining and uh, watching like I say today I'm going to be doing a 1 million view celebration for the channel over on YouTube so we're going to be streaming this live and I'm going to be making a logical monster um, which will uh, be very colorful indeed so the first thing we're going to do is buy a whole bunch of stuff so using this warp 5 ship we're going to build it out and uh, turn this into something of a fireworks show this plinth is going to become the celebratory platform and as you can see in my hotbar I have all the colors I may need to add more D1000 computers so let's see okay so I plan to put these on every single arm um, I've obviously used symmetry mode to our advantage but I could do this at least three more times so I'll do that now so then guys basically what we've got here is the current state of play the celebration rack is going pretty well what I've got here is all the colors we've determined a rainbow pattern uh, there were a few things we could have used like lava and such but I just wanted like a two-tone two-tone deal we've got a good range of colors there and we're firing in all directions so I'm gonna carry on so guys what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook up the first array so I've got activation blocks at the top of each weapons computer so the idea here is I'm literally just gonna go C V C V C V C V and continue linking all of these activation blocks to these because it looks cool and then I'm going to attach each of these to the corresponding color below it that's not what I'm going to do dummy the weapons computers <laughs> there we go there we go and if I go all the way down here that is that section done so now I can basically continue this over the rest so give me a minute so then what we have done is we have finally managed to get to the end of the first stage of the wiring so what I've got here is the all of these are now hooked up activation block to computer with the computer to its corresponding color so now I'm going to start building out the uh, primary and slave weapon systems yeah 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 thank you very yeah, much yeah, man. So we are now coming up on the last part. There we go. And that's it. All the missiles are in place. So now all I need to do is the slave system. So uh, like I say, I've put down uh, 10 rows of 10 off of each computer. It's all nice. So now it's time for the slave system. Okay then, so this is where we got up to now. We have a slave system in place. So every single one of these has got its slave. All of the different arms there. So it's all looking nice. So I'm going to take a quick save. And then I'm going to start linking those slaves up to those systems. Okay guys, so basically what we've just done is we've put the slave systems in. As you can see, you've got the master system already in place. And I've now put a second row of computers along with a slave system. The slave systems are square, so I know which one's which. So the next step is to go and hook up all those masters. Okay, so for some reason the bottom platform didn't get the same logical attention as the, the other layers. So I just had to do this one complete. So if I just show you, I could, it's a good opportunity to show you. So the uh, bottom layer I've left with a couple of blocks in a different pattern so that I can tell which is master so the bottom is the master here so if I was to just simply take it from the top so C this will attach the activation block will go into these weapons computers first of all so we use C and V to hook all of these up in a row Whoops that one again there we go fixed and then we're going to use the computer on each of these light emitting blocks this master computer so we can get the different color okay and then the next system which is the same size we put on top so I'm going to go C and V to hook them up as a slave it says using caps lock and all kinds of crazy stuff get back down here there we go <laughs> my finger slipped my fat fingers again so here we go and there it goes again 
keep hitting X. Ready? Right. Where was I? C, 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 C. Right. So now we're going to go down the line, hooking up masters to slaves. There we go. Beautiful. I think it's when I transition from CV to WSAD. Yeah, sometimes miss. Okay, so there we go. That's beautiful. I'm playing on 1280 by 720 because I'm in windowed mode. And I find that makes sense. Um, right, so if I got this here now. Let's go up to that middle platform. It's time to get that thing done. Okay, so here we are. We have finished connecting all of the master and slave systems. So now every single activation block, let's try one out, shall we? Uh, how about this one? Okay. That's pretty good for one. <laughs> so now for more. Okay, so what I've just created is a four second clock and it has an AND gate, okay? Now, all the AND gate does is it will always return a zero if the other input is zero. So, in other words, if this panic switch is off, then the clock will never repeat. If this switch is on, then the clock will repeat indefinitely. Okay, so this is every four seconds. So, in other words, you start this, and then you start this. The green light means go, and it will go. If you want it to stop, you hit the red button, and it will stop. And um, you can have it set up in a way that um, it'll actually start itself and all kinds of stuff. But this is how I'm going to do it, because it's nice and easy. Okay, so let's just test the clock. Okay, so now the clock is running. I've hooked it up to a red light, and every four seconds we get an on off. Now, if I want to stop the clock, and there is a video out on this particular brake switch on my channel. So there it is, and it's stopped. It doesn't matter what this position is now. You can stop it if you want, but it doesn't matter. But it does mean that if this is yeah, yeah, anyway, we won't go into that. Let's just get on with the build. Okay, guys, so now we've got our four-second clock in place with a brake switch if we want to turn it off. And now we've got our uh, main control delay circuit for every single one of these beautiful weapon systems. So I'm going to go ahead and hook them up to their masters, and I will give you another recap. So this is how we're doing each section. Currently, we've managed to get it up to this. So this is where we're currently at. But uh, I'm going to show you one section. So basically, I hit C on the trigger delay section. And of course, I've got a visual indicator, which is my blue light now. So I'm going to hook up to the blue light activation. And like I say, with it being all color coded, that actually helps. So we're going to go to the blue light, blue light, blue light. Make sure that blue light's attached there. Zoom across. Do the same thing on the other side. And, and then, like I say, up to the top. Blue light. Oh, we've got a mistake. Alarm bells, everybody. Something's not right. Something's not right there. Something's not right there. Uh -oh. Troubleshooting time, troubleshooting time. Someone's missed it. Is it me? I've missed it, haven't I? Something's hooked up wrong. Uh, okay. How did I do that? Hey, how did I do that? Nice. Right, so this is the last link, so I'm going to put this in the video. Uh, it's taken quite a while, but it has been a oh, really been a good fun build, this one. So, Quite a lot of thinking has gone into this, which is nice. So if I just go V, V, and we'll hook up the final activation blocks. So if you've been following this, you'll know what those activation blocks are doing. 
and you'll understand I hope because I've split this up into stages so anybody could do this oh no you know what I just did I broke it I done broke it yep you gotta relink that slave system okay it's okay though it's fine it's fine it's been fixed he says <laughs> So let's just double check we've got all of our uh, uh, ice crystal circuits. This is, we've got a still got a few more. So there's one there, there. Come around to this side, and uh, there, yeah, we got that one in, yeah, we got that one in. Okay, and uh, we got these in, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, have we though? Yes, we have. We can see the purple boxes. Okay. We get the top. See, now I'm like, did I get it? Did I get everywhere? Did I get everywhere? I think I got everywhere. Oh, no, wait. I missed a bit. See, the bottom gets no love. All right, there we go. So now we've got this sort of business going on. Which is kind of funky, actually. I didn't, I didn't foresee it having that kind of look to it. Gift time. Right, and now I think we're going to change it. If you can't figure out how to change the AMC color, but like I say, I've changed the color of every single one of these missiles. So I would say if you missed the beginning, there'll be a highlight very soon. Okay, so I'm going to save this one now because I think it might actually be done. So, of course, I can't use that. I just can always figure. Changing my buffer. <laughs> Party wagon was fun, but the one million views party was certainly something else. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just gonna call it V dash done. There we go. And then now we're gonna find out how horribly broken it is. And don't forget to check your permission. Okay guys, so we're going to basically get this done now. We've got this all set up, so we're going to see if we've got enough power. I put in some temp reactors uh, that are just basically blocks of power and storage. And we're going to have a go and see what happens when we start it off. So here we go. Yeah, let's better do that. So, brake switch on. So, we are ready to fire. The timer is running. Let's find out what happens. Oh, and are we out of power? <laughs> I see the reds firing. Oh, oh, wait, hang on. Oh, 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 hang on. Now I understand. It's firing all right, but it's firing so many. <laughs> it's firing so many of them. You can't see them. Let's just go and double check on the power situation, shall we? I see it getting stuck. Did I break logic? I see people screaming in the chat. Uh, it seems okay. So I'm in the sun, I'm allegedly firing everything. People are telling me they can see it, but I can't. No. See, now I can see lots of missiles firing and stuff. But I'm just not seeing some of the colours. I think it might be that I'm just firing so many... What's the reload time? Good question. Let's find out. D1000. Reload time is... Ah, oh, it's 15 seconds. Thank you. Right then. So all I have to do is change this to 15, which is 16 blocks, not 8. No, it's not. It's 30. I think that's right. So we'll just break the block connection here. And go put 
put in some more delay blocks. Um, yeah, I've delayed them all into batches of half second. 32. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So then I can get 30 in like that. Okay. 32, yeah? So I'll put one there and one there. So that one goes into there. That one goes into there. Right. Try it out. Right, so let's try it now. We've got one packet of on coming down now. Please don't destroy yourself, ship. What happened? Oh, there it goes. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it seems to only be firing off the red circuit at the moment, which is strange. Everyone else claimed to be seeing all the different colours. So it started working after it died. It's not fun. Well no, I think it's likely to get overheated, so there we go. Yeah, so missiles work. See, the little ship works, seems to work just as well as the big one at the moment. Alright guys, I'll give you something pretty. Because pretty. So here we go. There we go. What are they doing? My core. My beautiful core. Do you know what? I've got an idea. I think I can fix it. So I got the strap. I need to put strap shit. There we go. Come on. Oh wait, there's a pirate soul. Haha, -ha, there we go. It worked. Oh boy. Uh oh, uh oh. Yes, ninjas. Ninja ropes. Oh boy. Okay, well. It's working, but. You've got nothing to shoot at right now. 
Oh, it's got that guy to shoot at. Whoa. This thing doesn't do, seem to be doing much firing now. Oh! Yeah, it's got too many missiles, I think. I think maybe I did go a bit far. Let's see. One, two... Uh, yeah. <laughs> when it fires everything, the game lags out. So I think, yeah, I probably went a bit far. I'll make a small version tomorrow. <laughs> But I still had loads of fun. Look at this system. See, the system works, but I think there's just too many things happening at once quickly. So, something for version 2. But still, what an epic build. I had loads of fun building this. Oh, it just died. Could probably uh, make this work by adding more and all this sort of stuff, but it'd be quicker to start again, I think. Right, well, um, that's pretty much everything I had to show you tonight, guys. So basically, be sure to check out Ryben's live stream, which is, I think, still running. He's doing a lineup currently on the same server that I'm recording on. So, um, yeah, be sure to go and check that out, and uh, thanks for watching. Um, I've got a few more highlights on the systems I've been using tonight in the stream, and there's a little, little sneak peek from DevBuild as well regarding that undo feature. So, yeah, uh, check it out, and thanks again. I'll see you all next time.